A coach gun is a modern term, coined by gun collectors, for a double-barreled shotgun, generally with barrels from 18 inches to 24 inches in length placed side by side. These weapons were known as cut-down shotguns or messengers guns from the use of such shotguns on stagecoaches by shotgun messengers in the American Wild West. They came in 10 and 12 gauge black powder. The terms cut-down shotgun or messengers gun were coined in the 1860s when Wells Fargo and Company assigned shotgun messengers to guarded shipments on stagecoaches in California. The company issued shotguns to its guards for defense. The guard was called a shotgun messenger although the phrase riding shotgun was not coined until 1919. Shotgun messengers guarded express shipments, not stagecoaches. There was no single manufacturer for the traditional messenger's gun, as it was a generic term describing a class of shotguns offered. In a variety of barrel lengths from 18 to 24 inches for bird hunting guns. Either by the factory or from owners and gunsmiths cutting down the barrels. These shotguns featured external hammers and were manufactured primarily by Remington Arms, Ithaca, Colts Manufacturing Company, Parker, L.C. Smith, and several Belgian makers. Contrary to myth, Wells Fargo shotguns were not purchased by local agents, prior to 1900 they were purchased from San Francisco gun dealers because Wells Fargo's headquarters were located in San Francisco. From 1908 to 1918 all Wells Fargo shotguns were made by Ithaca. According to one account, Doc Holliday used a 10-gauge William. Moore and Company. Coach gun to shoot Tom McClory point plank in the chest with buckshot during the gunfight at the OK Corral in Tombstone, Arizona, on Wednesday, October 26, 1881. They stood in such close proximity that the town mortician was able to cover McClory's wound with one hand. Wyatt Earp also used both barrels of a 10-gauge coach gun to kill Frank Stillwell at a Tucson, Arizona rail yard and to kill Curly Bill Brocious point-blank the next year during the shootout at Iron Springs. However, according to another account, both men used greeners. Modern coach guns are manufactured by E.R. Amantino, I.Z.H. Slash Beichel. Huglu Armsco, Khan, Diamond, and a variety of Chinese companies for U.S. distribution through Century International Arms and Interstate Arms Corp. Modern coach guns are commonly encountered in cowboy action shooting competitions, among collections of western guns, as home defense weapons, and even as scrub guns for hunting grouse, woodcock, rabbit, hare, and or wild pig in scrub, bush or marshlands, where the 24-plus barrels of a traditional shotgun would prove unwieldy. The modern coach gun can be had in a variety of configurations. Suitable for both cowboy action shooting competition and hunting. Coach guns are similar to sawn-off shotguns but differ in that coach guns manufactured after 1898 are offered as new with 18 inches barrels and 26 inches overall length and meet legal requirements for civilian possession in the United States. Australia and New Zealand have slightly different laws for length. With NZ requiring a minimum overall length of 30 inches with no minimum barrel length and Australia requiring an 18 inches barrel and a 30 inches overall length. In the United Kingdom, However, shotguns must have a minimum barrel length of 24 inches to be eligible for ownership on a shotgun certificate, and shotguns with barrels under this length must be obtained on the more stringent firearm certificate. Some modern coach guns feature internal hammers as opposed to the traditional external hammers. It is because of this gun and its usage that the term riding shotgun came to be. Typically, a cut-down shotgun would be carried by the messenger sitting next to the stagecoach driver, ready to use the gun to ward off bandits. Today, in American and Canadian English, the term riding shotgun refers to the person sitting in the front passenger seat of an automobile. Thanks for watching.